Hi guys! I was just getting ready to make a gold fondant tiara and I thought I would shoot a quick video to show you how I make, how I mold my small fondant details and how I add my gold luster dust to them. So I have my Wilton mold here. This is the, um, I don't know, I guess you'd call it sea creatures or under the sea. Um, and I'm going to make a starfish. I have some cornstarch here in my little shaker container. Got that at the dollar store. One of the best purchases I've ever made. Just gonna tap a little bit out. And I have my fondant that I've colored with golden yellow, orange, and a little bit of brown. I'm trying to make it sort of a gold color to make a foundation for the luster dust. I'm just gonna get a little corn starch on my finger, press it into the mold here. I like to use a rolling pin to really get it into all those little nooks and crannies of the design. Cornstarch on the back there. This is brand new fondant, so it's a little bit sticky, super fresh. So I like to use my little palette knife here to get the excess off the edges. You don't want to drag it across the whole thing um, all at once because that can distort it and it pulls it from the far side. So I just sort of do a couple points at a time. Add that back to my ball here. And I'm just going to roll it out again. Make sure it's all pressed into the edges. Okay, and then what I like to do is I like to kind of roll it out onto the counter. It seems to distort it less. Sometimes it needs a little bit of help coming out here. Come on, little starfish. Okay, there we go. So I've got my starfish. And then I have this um, takeout soup container here. And it has sugar pearls in it. These are just white sugar pearls that I added to it in pretty much a single layer. And then I added gold luster dust to it. Um, this is a variety of different luster dust. I've had this container going for a while now. Um, you can just save it and reuse it, put the cover back on and you know put it with your other supplies. Um, so I'm not sure which brands it is, but it's a it's a nice mix of gold luster dust. So I'm going to take my starfish and I'm going to put it design side down on top of the pearls. I'm going to put the lid on because as cool as it is to sneeze gold, uh, it's probably not very good for me. I'm just going to swirl it around. might be kind of loud. Heads up if you're wearing head headphones. It's pretty evenly covered on there. Let me get it in the frame here. You can see the gold is on there pretty well. You don't have the brush stroke marks that you get a lot when you try to uh, brush it on there, like by adding vodka and making a paint out of it. Um, while that works just fine, I kind of prefer this way better. The back of it is still tacky, so you can add it to, and flexible, you can add it to your cake or your decoration, your top or whatever you're making with it. So there we go. I also have um, containers with different colors. I don't have a pink, pink one right now, but I probably will soon. Um, this is white, obviously. Pearl dust, I'm gonna use that for the shells. It's a great trick for, um, for letters, for small details like this. That would be a pain in the butt to paint. You can put a whole bunch of them in here at the same time. Um, not not too many so that they're all stacked up and sticking to each other, but in here you could probably put three starfish at a time and get all three of them done at once. Or I also have um, this bigger container that I've been using for a while. Um, sometimes I swap the pearls back and forth from this one in the little container just to save on gold dust because it can get expensive. But um, you can use this one for border pieces. 
like I might put this along the bottom edge of the tiara so I can make I can mold this and then lay it right in this container kind of um, crooked and or corner <laughs> diagonally there we go uh, corner to corner swirl it around um, and get that really nicely covered really easily so yeah that is how I do my um, small fauna details um, happy caking <laughs>